Hey, what's up, everybody? John Dorm. Uh, excuse me. Did you guys feel that? I got a little. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's right. John Dornboss here. Maybe you know me from a talent show I did on television, uh, which I can't say the name due to licensing infringement. I played in the league for about 14 years. Maybe you know me from that. And the reality is, maybe you don't know me at all and you have no idea who I am. But here you are right here, right now. We're going to do a little home workout. It's going to be a great time. Hey, this is the work in. So if you want to post something, take pictures, videos, have a competition between you and your family and put it online. Hashtag United We Move. So we're going to start real simple. We're going to warm this thing up. We're going to do these for about 30 seconds apiece. I got my family here. I got my wife, Annalise. This is my baby, Amaya. And this is our dog, Saint. If he stays here the entire time, it's going to be unbelievable. All right, move the shoulders back and forth. If you got a kid and you want to do what's called these uh, shoulder side swings to make your kid chuckle because there's nothing better than a baby laugh, then, then do that too. Either way, get moving. How about this? Let's throw the shoulders, circle them this way. What do you think, Saint? That's our dog, Saint, right there. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. So now we're going forward. Hey, how about this? Let's go backwards with the circles. Get the, get the body moving. Here we go. Now, as you can see, my wife and I, we have yoga mats. You don't need them. It's not necessary, but uh, since I don't play football anymore and my feet are tender, I'm a diva, and uh, I just want to feel the nice softness of a, of a mat. All right, now we're going to do a cross-body stretch. So, hey, you can modify anything you want like this yeah swing it michelle in new york i see you you're gonna like this one the old cross body let's get the side stretched out like this right yeah, take one arm go across the body take the other one hook it underneath there just kind of pull so maybe we take this shoulder and go to the back wall and we kind of turn this way and get a nice pull here and down here maybe you like the cross body maybe you just want to reach in the sky and kind of just go back and forth this way either way just get moving and like I said, if you post something, tell us what you think. Tell us if you're having fun. Tell us what we should do. And uh, hashtag United We Move. So, all right, here's the one. Now we're going to get the body loose. All right, so we did these shoulders. We did the cross body. Let's do some jumping jacks. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Now, what's the deal? Go this way, which, Lisa, I see you in Tampa. Maybe you like to do the full-on jumping jack this way. I like to give it some swag, you know? You know, when you're, you're with a buddy doing jumping jacks, you want to make them look cooler than they are. So you're like, hey, what's going on? Like, hey, man, what's going on? So I, I do jumping jacks this way. So I'm gonna give you a breakdown. We're gonna do this warm up. And then we're gonna do two circuits. Each exercise we're gonna do for 30 seconds, okay? We can modify them. Keep doing jumping jacks, don't stop. We can modify them, you can alter them, do whatever you want. Take a little breath, all right? There we go. So let's just do about five seconds. You ready? We're gonna start over, just the shoulders forward, shoulder backward, yeah. Do a little swing, go. All right, Nicole in Colorado, this is for you right here. We're gonna go from the swing, bam, cross body. Here we go, bam, right there. Hold that, stretch it out. Hold that, yep, stretch it out. All right, and Teresa, I see you in Las Vegas, so are you ready? Let's do some jumping jacks. I like to bend the arms, give it some swag, and I think now I'm ready to go. So circuit one, here we go. We're gonna do each exercise for about 30 seconds. This is gonna to be totally rock star. Do your best. Give me what you got. I know some of you guys might have shoes. My wife and I are total boho beach people, so we're not wearing shoes. So we're going to start with jumping tees. Now, jumping tees is like a jumping jack, but instead we're going to go like this, okay? So try and do this for 30 seconds. And if you can't, that's okay. So bam, here we go. 30 seconds right here. Now, I want you to do that for 30 seconds. You got to go slower. You want to go slower? Go slower. If you don't even want to move the hands, don't move the hands. The key is just move. Feel good about yourself. Be better than we were yesterday. All we gotta do is just one thing better today than we did yesterday, so keep moving. Maybe you just wanna do this. Maybe your legs are hurting. There you go. So you can modify this however you want. All right, walk it out. Maybe you walk to the front of the room. Maybe you walk to the back. If you want, come over here and get a little sip of water. Which I know everybody at home has their Planet Fitness water bottle. You know what I mean? It. All right. Victor in Iowa, I'm going to do this just for you. I love this. Here's what today's all about. It's about showing up. And we are going to slowly break our body down a little bit. And the reason we're going to do that is because together, we're going to be better than we were yesterday. And after we bring ourselves back together, we can take ourselves and put ourselves back together better, stronger, more inspired to be better than we were yesterday. Speaking of being inspired, if you need to find a little bit more inspiration to work out, it's easy. 
Get the Planet Fitness app. It's free. And let me tell you, if it's free, it's me. Okay, enough talking. Here we go. We're going to do the second. This is called an alternating lunge. So you're going to stand here. Oh, and my wife's going to show you an awesome moderate, uh, uh, modification. We call this uh, baby, right? So you strap the kid. Saint's in here with us. Come here, Saint. So if you want your hands on your hips, great. Step over the dog and lunge. If there's the dog, swing back. Go forward and back. Now, my wife is in way better shape than I am. So she can add 25, 30 pounds. I can't. I'm already sweating all over the place. So if you want to modify it, maybe you take a deep breath. Maybe you take little, little tiny ones. Now, this is important. When you do this and you step forward, you don't want the knee out in front of the toe. Ooh, bad. Good. So make sure when you step forward, kind of sit down and then come back up. Sit down, come back up. Maybe that's hard on the knees, right? So maybe you just go forward and hold it for a few seconds. Come back up. Hold it right there. Come back up. All right, now, let's see if you can keep up. Here we go. We're going to do some lunges here. Boom. Bam. My dog Saint's wondering what the heck to do. He doesn't know. He's like, Dad, I haven't seen you work out this much since you retired from playing in the league. Here we go. All right, let's do two seconds. All right, Chris. My wife's also from Colorado, so this is perfect. So wait, let, 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 let's rest. So, Chris. I'm gonna do this for you and everybody else. I love this trick, it's one of the first tricks I ever learned. So everybody take a breather. If you got a couch, sit on it. If you got a chair, if you wanna stand up, doesn't matter. But I love this, we can take a, a pencil and a dollar bill. And hopefully we can find the exact center of the dollar bill just by going. Okay, hold on, I missed it, it's off. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's actually off a little bit. You see how it's not quite dead center? That's okay. Here's what we do, watch. You can see it and you're gonna hear it. And just like that, just as good as new. Just like today, I know this workout might be hard. Maybe it's easy, but either way, we, we all showed up together. Because united, we move. Let's put ourselves back together better than we were the day before. So, the next exercise, we're going to do high knees. We're going to mix in some cardio here, so I'm with you. When I retired from the game, I vowed to myself I will never do high knees ever again. But here I am for you. So... Let's do it for about 30 seconds. Kick it up. Now, this might be hard for a lot of people. We call this baby high knees. Well, baby baby butt kicks. Babe, go sideways. Show them. So we can do some butt kicks. And the best part is, watch this. If we take out the binky of the baby. Oh, come on. Show her. The baby loves this. Amaya is smiling. This is when we go dancing with the baby. Watch out for the dog there. Maybe you just want to go like this, right? Step up. Just do high knees. If you got the kid's binky... Makes it harder to breathe, which just makes it harder. So here we go. Baby Binky. Nice catch, honey. All right, let's go. And whoo. All right, take a breather. We did jumping tees. We did the alternating forward lunges. And we just did high knees. And now we're going to take about 10, 15 seconds just to breathe this one out, shake it out. You can always go back to those stretches we did in the beginning or a stretch that you got that you want to do that might be better. Now this next one, you guys take a breather. I'm going to show you what it is first. They're called squat jumps, in and out squat jumps. These are hard for me. So the idea is that we stand and we're going to jump and then squat and then jump, put our, put our legs back together. So bam, just like that. We're going to try and do this for 30 seconds. So Amy in New Mexico, we're all looking at you right now. So. Get up, I want great form, and I want you to push yourself and do one more than you thought you could. So, again, if you have a baby or a dog or a random 30 pounds strapped to your stomach, maybe you just do squats, but here we go. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Jump squats at your own pace. Modified, maybe you have a couple gallons of milk, maybe you got a frozen turkey in the fridge. In our case, a bunch of frozen pizzas, hold those things. Maybe you just squat because your knees can't take it. But if you can take, that right there, we're gonna rock this. The in and out squats. Like I said, here we go. If you're hit it, we move. All right, don't stop, don't stop because I'm gonna stop. I'm actually gonna do something for y'all. I'm gonna go back to this dollar bill. I want you to keep squatting. Okay, we'll take a break in just a second. The first time I did it and we ripped it, you guys heard the bill rip, it's ridiculous, right? Oh my gosh, how did he do that? The key is this, when I'm struggling in life, whether it's working out, business, family, personal, it doesn't matter. We all struggle. 
And it's about not listening to the voice in your head that says give up, not listening to the voice in your head that says quit. It's about learning to talk to ourselves in a positive way to inspire ourselves and the people around us. And now watch this. Then when we do that, anything's possible. And whatever problem we have, we can slice right through it and be back in one, completely back together. If you ever see me perform live, you can take that dollar bill for yourself. So, all right, stop doing the in and out squats. Just stop. All right, take a break. Now, Jenna, I see you in New Jersey. So here you go. You might not like these. You might, it, I, I don't know, but uh, these are uh, push up things. You do not need these. Uh, I had a couple wrist surgeries when I was playing football, so my wrist doesn't really bend anymore, so I can't really do that push-up, so I use these, but these are not necessary. We're gonna do a mountain climber. A mountain climber is when you hold yourself in a plank, like so, all right? We don't, uh, let, let's try not to do this, okay? And let's, let's, let's try not to do that, all right? This isn't really, although if this is what you got, I'm all for it, because I'm gonna be honest with you, this might be all I got, all I got. But hold yourself here, and just try and run in place. Maybe it's a walk. Do this. Maybe you come all the way up this way and hold it like that. And maybe you come up. All right, here we go. We're gonna do mountain climbers for 30 seconds. If you're not, I'm sweating. So if you're not sweating right now, there's a couple factors. A, you're in way better shape than I am, very possible. B, you just need to step your game up mm, that much. Or C, turn the air conditioner off, join us in the heat. Here we go. Mountain climbers, let's go. All right, Leroy, I go to Orlando all the time, so. Let's mountain climb our way to Orlando, join Leroy. Again, maybe some of you like to walk, maybe some of you wanna bring that elbow up to the knee. Just give me whatever it is that you got right now for 30 seconds. And if you gotta take a break, gotta take a break, rest your wrist, rest your hands. Hey, that's okay. Do what you gotta do, it's all good. Go back to it. Here we go, just do mountain climbers for, let's go, uh, let's go this, another 10 seconds, okay? But how about this? Let's go another 10 seconds, harder than we've been going this, this whole time. So here we go. 10, nine, eight, six, four, three, two, one. Awesome, awesome job. So let's all take a breather. Let's gather ourselves right now. We just did mountain climbers. Now I'm gonna keep my little push-up handles. I'm gonna keep these out. Cause the next thing we're gonna do are push-ups. So it's gonna get tough. We got this. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people ask me, John, how do you do it? And you know what the key is? Sometimes you just gotta know where to look to find a little bit of extra inspiration, a little bit of thought, and I know where to go to get all that. It's the Planet Fitness app, baby, are you kidding me? It's free. And then you can go on the app and just pick out whatever it is you need, whenever it is you need it, just like this, bam. There we go, so remember, it's all there. <laughs> all right. Here we go, let's go. The push-ups, all right, you guys ready? I just stepped on mine and we broke it, but you know what? Don't phase me, don't matter. I can either make an excuse or I can hammer this thing out. Let's go, let's hammer this out. So, in order to do push-ups, you can have them a few different ways. You can have them like this. You can have wide arm, right? Where you go wide arm and it's gonna work on the chest. You can go slow. Maybe if you bring your hands in this way, keep the elbows in, now it's gonna work the tricep, right? So do it right now. However you want to do push-ups. If you want to be on the knuckles, go ahead. But if you want wide arm or narrow arm, it's all the same. But I want you to move. If you need to modify, it's okay. Put your knees down and just give me what you got. And then if between push-ups, you've got to rest for a second. Stretch out your back. That's all good. But get right back into it. And when you think you can't do one more, guess what you're going to do? You're going to do one more. So I'm going to join you all here for a couple. I tell you what, Don in California, give me five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, oh yes, and one. Oh my gosh, that was a that was a good circuit right there. We did jumping tees, alternate l lunges, we did high knees, we did in and out squat jumps, we did mountain climbers and push-ups. Think about everything we just did. Take a breather, take a second, dry off, get some water, walk to the front of the room, walk to the back of the room. High five somebody next to you. I know you're quarantined, so it's somebody that's been in your house this whole time or your friends. If you don't have anybody there, just pretend like you do. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself feel cool. That's what I do. Nice job, pal. So, so. All right. We're going to be going on the second circuit. 
And the second circuit's gonna be awesome, but here's what this whole thing's about. So I wanna show you guys something. We're gonna do this during the rest. And I happen to have this little bar stool right here. And I happen to have a couple of items. Now this is gonna be tough for me, because it's, look, I've been working out, I'm sweating, I'm shaking. So I got a dollar bill. I got, uh, <laughs> look at my business cards. These things are psyched. Uh, uh, Danny Ocean inspired this, but uh, the reality is I never carry it on me. So I, I never give it away, I just look at it. So don't ask me for one, because I probably don't have it on me. Uh, we got a deck of cards. King of Clubs. Life is about balance. Everything we do is about balance. So I'm gonna attempt to do this. I've been working this whole quarantine on this right here. So watch, I'm gonna try and get up close. Look, if we can just balance like so. Shh. You gotta breathe slowly. Find balance in your life. Find balance with your family. Find balance in taking time for yourself to work out. I'm shaking. I'm getting nervous. Just like that. Talk to yourself in a positive way. Tell yourself you're good enough in everything you do. And that right there starts right here to be a champion. You want to be a champion? All you got to do is show up. And look, here we are. We all showed up together to make ourselves better than we were yesterday. So here we go. Circuit. Janae, I'm gonna tell you right now, my wife and I love you twice as much, so thank you for all the support. But here we go, you're distracting us. We're going into circuit number two, and we're gonna start with some cardio. I'm a jumping jack guy, here we go. My whole career, all my teammates went, man, look at that guy's calves, so it's all I got. So I'm gonna just try and get up on my toes to show you those calves right there. Everybody asked me, John, you must've worked so hard for those calves. Now, I'll be honest with you, right there, I didn't do anything for him, I just, I have them, so. Anyways, here we go, jumping jacks. All right, we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, they're good. You know, sometimes, you know, when, you, when you're, my wife walks in, I'm like, I'm sorry, honey, let me just get that itch right there. All right, here we go. Stop, just grow up, let's all grow up, stop it. Nobody wants to see that. All right, let's do this for about 10 more seconds. Keep the blood running. And hey, like I said, if this is what you got, give it to me. I don't care. If that's what you, how about this? Okay, all right, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. I'm gonna slow down. We're gonna gather everybody. We're gonna regroup our thoughts. We're gonna go just like this. We're gonna take a breather. And everybody from around the world, we got people in umpteen different countries right now that are all writing in. I can't keep up with y'all. So, right now, we're all gonna be one. Coming together with Planet Fitness in a movement called United We Move. All right, so now we're gonna go to the backward lunge. We started with the forward lunges, remember? When we were like this and we went forward, bam, killed it. We're gonna do the same thing, but go backwards. So we're gonna start, and this time we're gonna go backwards, and we're gonna sit. We're gonna make sure that this doesn't go past our toes, remember that? Keep it back here. And maybe you go further back like that, boom. My wife's not changing the diaper right now. Maybe she'll do baby holding backward lunges. We'll find out here shortly. So. Everybody stand. Go. All right. Kate from Massachusetts. There you go. Just do that backward lunge. Ladies and gentlemen from the U.S. of A. Arnold, I have completed a successful diaper change, and they're back in the game for some backward lunges. Here we go. Backward lunge. Boom. All right. And this is the same thing with the forward lunge. Maybe, maybe it hurts to go back and forth. So what are we going to do? Maybe we just hold it, right? Maybe we just slow down. Maybe we go forward like that, there we go. You wanna get really hard? Maybe you put your hands over your head. It's a little too hard for me. I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna lie. So, let me here. If my wife didn't have a baby, she'd be crushing these because she's crushing them with a kid. So she's in way better shape than I am. She should be teaching this class, not me. Amaya, what do you think? Yep, oh, Amaya's having fun. All right, let's do five, four, three, Two and one. Take a breather, walk it off. Here we go. If you got water, here you go, man. If you got water, yeah. take a sip. If you have a towel, towel off. Cheers. Here you go. Ah. That's right. My wife just said, Cheers, everyone. Good job. We got this towel. Let's dry off. This. And now uh, here you go. Okay. 
All right. I think my wife did these earlier with a modification, so we're going to go right back to them. We're going to do butt kicks. We're going to put in some cardio. So we're just going to run in place, right? And then when you get comfortable, lift that heel up a little higher. And then when you get really comfortable, go all the way up. This way. There you go, Ruth. I see you in Pittsburgh. There you go. I lived in Philadelphia for years, so you're only a couple hours away from there. Here we go. Bam. If you want to speed it up, look at that. That's exhausting. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down. And guess what? If that's too much, ready? Slow it down. Just get that heel as far up to your of your rear end as you possibly can. <laughs> if you want to do it that way, put the baby strap to you. Rock and roll, whatever you got. All right, all the way up there in Boise. Kara, I got you, so let's take a break. Let's walk this off. Here we go. Shake out the legs. All right, now this is the one that nobody wants to do, right? Because we're all a little bit tired. We've been moving, we've been going fast, our heart rate's up. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do something hard. They're called squat, squat, alternate heel touch. So you're just gonna squat, pick up one, and tap the opposite. So you guys ready from behind? I'm gonna squat, pick up my right leg, and tap it with my left, bam. And if you wanna get aggressive with it, give it like a, yeah, show it who's boss. Yeah, that's right. Show it who's boss, yeah. You can do that too, doesn't matter. So here we go. Or if you got a baby, squat. However you want to do it, but just keep moving. So I got confused there, so like that. All right. I just did twice in a row because I got confused. That's okay. Boom. There you go, sweetheart. <laughs> there we go. Squat and let it rip. Boom. And down. There we go. And there we go. Keep doing those squats. I'm going to bring this bar stool back into play. And this is a great little thing. Watch this. We're gonna put this right here. And I, I got I got cards all over my my ballard, if you will. You gotta keep these guys perfect. If you want a creative way to drink water, this is it. Watch. Are you ready? Here it is. Watch. Sometimes you just need a drink of water. What the heck is going on? And I don't know. Hold on. Did you guys see that? Hold on. Sometimes. You just need a creative way to drink some, oh, the old fake hand gag, eh? Kills it every time. All right. The point of it being, you can have water whenever you want in this workout. You don't need my permission, so stop and take a swig of water whenever you need it. Okay, we stop. Chill out, take a breath. As you know, I've been kind of cheating you guys, doing some tricks in between stuff, and I've been getting breathers, but right now, the hat's going backwards, because we're getting real. And the one exercise I probably hate more than any, and that's why we're gonna do it together, because we're gonna do something that's difficult, that maybe we don't like doing, but we're gonna do it together to feel better. Bicycle crunches. The nemesis of my ab routine, which as you can see is impeccable. Okay, here we go. Lay on your back. The idea is that we keep the, the bicycle pedaling, and now we're gonna rotate, boom. Elbow to opposite knee. Now, if you can go fast, Perfect, then go fast. But if you want, you can slow down. And maybe, maybe you do like a marcher, right? So you're gonna go opposite to opposite knee and put the put the foot down. Now, if you're listening to me right now and you're not doing these sit-ups, you're only cheating yourself. Let's go, lay down and join me right now. So we're gonna try and go for about 30 seconds of some sort of bicycle sit-up. So let's go here. There we go. And because these are super, super hard, we might cut this one a little bit short. So I'm gonna stop. If you wanna stop, do this. Let's all stop for 10 seconds. Let's breathe. And then we're gonna do 10 seconds all in on these bicycle sit-ups. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm not gonna count, it's gonna be quiet. I want you to do these as best you can, as fast as you can for 10 seconds. Set, go. Don, thank you very much. You rock too, but I couldn't talk during those sit-ups. That was way too hard. All right, this is the last part, the second circuit of a great, great workout, and I saved the best for last because I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now. I absolutely dominate these. So 
If you do these better than me, ha, you wish. Here we go. We call it the inchworm. So your feet together, and you're gonna kind of put your hands on the ground, and you're gonna walk your hands forward, okay? And then when you get forward, you're gonna kind of end in this plank position. And maybe you walk your feet forward. Walk your feet forward. Maybe you walk your feet backwards. And if you walk your feet backwards, look what you can do. You can walk your hands backwards. So give me some inchworms. I'll do them this way so you guys can see different ways to do it. Walk the hands out and in a plank. Maybe we walk the feet forward. You can stand up. Maybe you go back down. Walk the feet out. Walk the hands back. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is an inchworm at perfection. It was in my life perfecting the inchworm for this moment right here, right now, that I can get in front of the world to show you what the inchworm really should look like. A lot of people go lazy on the inchworm. And Jill in Tennessee, I know you agree with me. A lot of people don't give the inchworm the respect it deserves. All right, five, four, three, two, one. We are inchwormed out. So take a deep breath. Everybody stand up, shake it off. We did it. We're gonna do this little cool down. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. So here's what I want you to do. I just want you to stand there, take a deep breath. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick trick with dental floss. And what we're gonna do, I hope you guys can see this. We're just gonna simply break off pieces of floss like so. Now, I don't know about you, but we did a couple exercises today that for me were really hard. Anything with the hamstrings, the lunges, it's hard for me. The bicycle uh, sit-ups, that's really hard for me. So when we come together and we do things that are hard for us and we overcome that adversity and we encourage one another, this is what we do. We take those pieces and we're going to roll those bad boys up, which when you're sweating profusely, your hands are shaking because you just did an aggressive workout, is way harder than it should be. I just want everybody to know right now that as I'm balling up these small pieces of uh, dental floss, my pinky and my wrist are actually cramping. I'm not lying to you. It's actually embarrassing. So here we go. So now we've got all those pieces. Those pieces will stick to the piece of floss like that. I'll tell you what I'm most thankful for. Planet Fitness bringing us all together so that we can have a fun time with our friends and family. We can work out. We can feel better. And from all over the world, we can come together to form unity, which is exactly what this is all about. United, we move. So thank you again. Let's do a hamstring stretch right here. It's all good. Let's stretch the hamstrings. If you want, maybe you can kind of, maybe your hands can't touch the ground. Maybe they can go all the way to the ground. All right. Maybe you can kind of curl the wrist under. I don't know if you're six foot, 265 pounds like me. Maybe you can do that, keep your legs straight. I don't know, maybe there's some people out there. I don't know if you saw that, but I just slipped and sweat, almost ripped out my entire groin. But it's okay, I didn't, I'll persevere. Maybe you can do the splits to stretch that bad boy out. I'm gonna tell you right now, all my friends are gonna text me after this workout's done and say, I can't believe you actually did that in front of the world. You did the splits, that's an embarrassment, but I did, and it's awesome, I rocked it. Let's do that. Stand up. Swing that. Swing the arms. Remember the chest? We did some push-ups today, so let's swing those arms and just relax. Let's do those circles. Okay. Now let's put the hands in the air. Grab them together. Let's lean this way. Stretch out the abs. Let's lean the other way. I want to bring my wife and my daughter. Saint, come here, buddy. My dog. Come here, pal. Come on. My dog does everything I tell him to. Come here, Saint. Yeah, here he is. So Saint wants to thank every one of you. Remember, we did it. Together, we all did it. My wife, Amaya, my dog, myself, everybody in the Planet Fitness family. If you want to do it again, you can, and you can follow all the workings. They are all on all of the Planet Fitness socials. We're talking Facebook, we're talking Instagram, we're talking the YouTube channel. So you can go back, you can look at them, or tune in every night, 7 p.m. Eastern, for a new work-in with a new special guest. Remember, united we move. Let's be better today than we were yesterday. My name is John Dornboss. Thank you for coming into my home. Thank you for allowing me into your home. My wife, Amaya, my dog, Saint, we're going to run this out.